Uh, VP Harris responded to questions, uh, as we talked about, about yesterday's Israeli strike. And we wanted to play that soundbite once again. I hope it's a different one, but let's see if it's the same one. Yet again, there are too many civilians who have been killed. I mean, Israel has a right to go after the terrorists that are Hamas. But as I have said many, many times, they also have, um, I believe, an important responsibility to avoid civilian casualties. We need to get the hostages out. We need a hostage deal, and we need a ceasefire. And I can't stress that strongly enough. It needs to get done. The deal needs to get done, and it needs to get done now. So this is one of the biggest problems of many people think for the Democratic Party. You have protests scheduled before delegates even arrive here in Chicago. What do you think, Niambi? Do you think that there is a way for this issue to be addressed beyond what we've heard time and time again by all sides, which is we need a ceasefire deal, we need the hostages home? Well, I don't think it's going to happen before the convention, certainly. I mean, I think these are long-standing issues. We're talking about decades in the making that got us here. And, of course, um, I think everybody would like to have something happen uh, in time for the convention. But I don't think it's, it's, it's going to be there. It's just too much, I think, bad feeling um, between the Palestinian people and between the Israeli government. I don't know um, what is going to be possible at this moment. I mean, and certainly Israel knows the United States is not going to pull, totally pull support. I don't care who's in office. So I don't think there's going to be enough time to really turn the corner on this issue uh, to kind of stave off protests or any other thing. Malik, I have a question about what you're hearing from Republicans. Obviously, there's great diversity within both parties of thought and who the candidates should be and what they should or shouldn't be saying or should they keep their mouth shut. Uh, but with this surge that we're seeing with Kamala Harris, uh, Vice President Harris, is there a sense of nervousness? Or do Republicans you're hearing from say, you know what, this is all part of the process, it's still the honeymoon? Well, you know, I can easily come on television and play the game where we just sort of talk out, throw out the talking points. But the reality is, is that any campaign with such a shift in the political race, of course, there's concern. Now, it doesn't mean that that concern translates into a real fear that Donald Trump could lose. But you have to be concerned because the same polls that we've been talking about for well over a year now between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, those polls now show something different. Now, I do believe that trends matter. Unfortunately, in the case with Kamala. Harris, she didn't have to go through a primary, so we don't know if this is a floor or if this is a ceiling, but the numbers are what the numbers are. And at this point, I'm pretty sure that the Trump campaign is trying to figure out how to adjust to an entirely new candidate when they've been running against Joe Biden, at least for the almost the past two years. Yeah, I think, though, that I remember from interviews that former President Trump did that they were prepared for President Biden to step down, even when we were still hearing from many in the Democratic Party that said he wouldn't. Niambi, uh, the one issue is specific to Chicago, uh, quite frankly, is that we're hearing from more communities who are fed up with the way the state and with the federal government's handling of immigration. Do you believe mm -hmm. that that topic gets broached at the DNC? And if so, what should be the selling point? Mm -hmm. I mean, I do think the topic is probably going to come up. I mean, that's been the biggest criticism of Kamala Harris is that she's the, quote, borders are and hasn't done anything. And the truth is nobody has done anything on immigration because it's a huge issue. And that's not the role of the vice president, quite frankly, right? That's what we have a Department of Homeland Security for. Those sort of particularities aside, I think they will talk about immigration, but I think they will talk about the ways that it's a strength for America, the ways that it's been used as a cudgel, right? to, um, you know, come between communities, to draw, drive wedges between Democratic voters. But I think there will be some middle road strategy, which is what Democrats have always done, which is, you know, we're going to talk about how we need to stop undocumented migration, but we need to provide a pathway to citizenship for legal migrants and refugees and others who are here because of conflict. I mean, that's why people come, because of conflict. Um, but I think, you know, immigration in terms of being an issue that, you know, is the single issue that drives voters, I don't think it will do that. But I think you can't sort of ignore it and act like it doesn't matter. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.